Okay, Adological Enigma number 15. This one looks quite fun, just from the example. Um, as always, go to pebblespuzzles.com to do this for yourself. All right, gentle patron, recently we have gr uh, we were graced with one of those breathtakingly clear days that I do so crave at this normally grey time of year. Does it actually say when it was? Offer available through... Hmm. So the prize is available until the end of January 2015. I wonder if it was January or December or something like that. Well, there wasn't the pre... What was the previous one talking about? Rivers. I don't know. Um... <clears throat> For the cold, crisp air, I caught a view of the snow covering the tops of our nearby mountains, and it brought brought forth a wave of nostalgia for the snowfalls of my youth and my earliest discoveries of the crystal structures of snowflakes. Those crystalline thoughts inspired this, my latest enigma. In the grid below, some of the white squares are each to be overlaid with a single dark right tri dark right triangle like one of these. Okay. The numbers in some black squares indicate exactly how many of the horizontally or vertically adjacent white squares are to receive triangles. When all triangles have been drawn, all of the remaining white squares must form perfect rectangles or squares. Yeah, I see. Okay, interesting. Either parallel to the grid edges or at a 45 degree angle. Overall, your final grid will resemble a beautiful crystal-like matrix appropriate for this chilly season. And then we find the answer. Um, okay, so how do they begin here? Oh gosh, this is an interesting one. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. So in the example, three... You know you're getting three triangles, so they can't be... Yeah, there's only a bunch of ways that could go. I can see, I can see how this starts. Let's, let's, let's try it. Uh, and immediately I see a three at an edge, which sounds quite useful. Also, the four sounds quite useful too. Uh, let's begin with this three. Um, I guess I'm gonna be squiggling in again. So, uh, a three, right. So how many different ways are there of doing this actually? So like, that would be bad, because we wouldn't have a... Well, okay, in both directions that would be bad, that way and that way, because we wouldn't have a, a white square. So therefore, I mean, it has to be this way, right? Uh, like this. So the same is true on the other side. I'll do. Will it do? That looks horrible. Um, so then this one needs one as well. It's either going to be that or the other way around. I don't think I can tell which yet. Okay, that's something. Well, if that goes to there, then surely this has to go like this. And the same is true over here. So I know that's the corner, that each of these are the corner of a, a white square, but I don't know how big they go. They might go like this. Well, they don't go like that because then that one, oh, that's interesting. Right, if that went further, it came this way, oh, it could it could do, because it could go like that. And that would, then one only has one triangle next to it then. Hmm. Uh, however, this can't go like this because it would involve trying to make a square like that, but it was cutting through the four. So we must be going this way right now. Okay, and that tells me with the other one and the three, right? It means threes needs to go like this. Okay. Now this necessarily has to start going this way. Now in theory, we could just finish this now. but maybe not. Hmm. 
Hmm, is there anything else we could work out around there? So this four needs another one. It could be like that. Uh, I need to disambiguate when I do that. So it could be like that. Can't be the other way around there. Can't be like this, because that means this is not... Oh, actually, no, it could be. Yeah, of course. Because that would be fine. Hmm. Okay, I need to be careful not to rush too far ahead. Uh, this four has to be like that, right? Can't be the other side of that diagonal. Can't be either of these, so yes. Okay. So that two's already got one. It was exactly right. Exactly how many of the horizontal? Yep, okay. Uh, this two has two, which have to be like this. Yes, yes. So then this must go like this. Yeah, these edges are really useful because you know that since it hits the edge, it's got to bounce back off at least a little bit. That might be as much as it does. Okay, this one's interesting though, because there's actually nowhere I could put a square here, but it might be empty, it might be full. How will I disambiguate that later? Hmm. Wait, are there no, yeah, there, there are full squares. Oh no, but that was there already. Also, I never fill in a square. I only ever put triangles into them. Yes. Okay. And so I know that's got one triangle and it can't be on this side. So that one's empty. Okay, so I never just fill in the square, that's fine. But then we'd have an issue here, right? If this continued this way, then we've... No, there's no issue there, that's fine. That leaves a square there, which is perfect. We could also not continue that way and go this way and do a rectangle over here or something like that. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, this can't continue this way. Because then, yeah, okay, I'm being silly. So this has to go up here. I believe. This is going to be empty. So this one isn't going to be on here because there's no triangle drawn on there that would form a nice square. There is one I could do here, but then there's these two, which could probably have anything in them. Okay. Well, I'm doing a bunch of things, so none of them are like cascading throughout the puzzle yet, but maybe if I have a few starting points, eventually something will start doing that. Wait, so if this did end here, then this four within a triangle here would have to be like that, I guess, which could work, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. These threes have only got three space next to them. They're all gonna have triangles in. So if this is gonna have triangle, it's gonna have to be that way. Okay. I don't know how far that goes upwards. Uh, similarly, this has to be like this, right? Yep. The same on the other side. I 
this one can't go any further because this square would intersect with the white square. So this has to go like this. And it also can't go any further this way because this black square would intersect. So we're going like this. But we're potentially going further this way. Right, like that. Or we're ending immediately. If we were ending, then these two would be like this. Hmm. Don't know if I can tell if we are ending though. Wait, how, why have I not done that one as well? That that's the same. It's symmetrical. Okay. Can I work out this one actually? So it's not going to be like that. Oh no, it could be like that one. Right about. Don't know if you can hear that pigeon sitting on my chimney. So this three up here, if it went like this, would that actually ever work? Yeah, sure. I feel like this. If one like this, would that ever work? That would have to go that way. And yeah, we could do this. Hmm. I know these two are empty. Does that tell me anything? Should I be marking ones that I know are empty? Hmm. Maybe, maybe, but not, maybe not yet. This three went like this, and this is continuing this way. And that would be going that way. But these would then have to split off like this, and like that. I don't see an issue with that. Feels a little too symmetrical, but nothing prohibiting that. Actually, this too might be, there might be something I can do. Right, because that's never going to have a triangle in it. I don't think I could fill both of these, or could I? Mm, yeah, I totally could. Like this. Hmm. So, okay, I know a triangle can't go here, so that's empty. Do I know anything about this one? No, because it can be a rectangular shape, so it could in theory be like this. Well, I know there's not one there as well. So actually, that, as far as that could go is here. It can't extend out to here, because then it would join with that one. That's interesting. So this is at most that big. 
is potentially also just that big. Does that really tell me anything? Huh. That can't have a triangle in it, so that one's empty. But any of these could. This four, can I work out anything else with this four? Like I just did this, but okay, if that ends there, what does that say about this? Then that has to go there. Which would then mean this would have to go here. This has to go here. Okay, that's my square. Which would mean what about this other one here? It would have to go like this. So then that would have to go like that. This all works fine. Okay, what about the opposite? If this continues, we go to here. This two is finished by this. Four has one here like that. But then actually this is now more flexible. Actually, no, it's not. So it can't be that way. So it still has to be the other way. We just have a rectangle down here. Yep. Both of those work. Hmm. This one's tricky. Hmm. Is that two's already okay? Let's stop marking empty squares. How do I? Is there a shortcut to toggle between these two? There will be. What is it? Tell me. Tell me. Why did the pop ups only show for like a second? X. Okay, so let's get my classic orange. There we go. So now I can switch easily. Yes. Okay. Um, it'd be nice if my like cursor highlighter also changed color, but that's a totally separate thing. That's not that's not Photoshop. I'm using a separate program to do that. Um, okay. So I know this is empty. Uh, I don't want to do it. Sure. Um, and that's empty. Which is interesting. It's interesting, right? Because that means this needs to have something in it. In fact, it needs to have exactly this shape in it. Okay. Because any other shape would join these two somehow. That's not true. Ah, but any other shape would require, like, if I did this, uh, there would have to be a triangle in here, which there can't be. So, yes, it is this. That's fun. Mm -hmm. So that tells me something. That doesn't, that can't go like that. So these are part of the same rectangle, right? Yes. Therefore, this must continue up here. I don't know for how long. This must continue down here. Uh, 
um, in theory it could keep going or it could stop. If it did stop here, yeah, well, I've, I've gone through that scenario before. Okay, if that's like that, then that's not got a triangle in it, then this has to go up this way. Okay, yeah, writing down the empty ones has helped me a lot. So this needs a triangle on this side because it's a four. And it, so it has to be, like the only other option would be that, but then that leaves, no, that, that would actually be okay. Right. This needs a triangle, which could either be that, which is not fine because I can't make a square or a rectangle, or that, which is fine, okay. Okay, but then that potentially ends there. Wait, actually, if it were this and that, then this one would be with that one, which is fine. Yep. Let's do some more empties. I know that's empty. That's empty. In fact, these are going to be part of the solution at the end as well, so I might as well write them down. Uh -huh. Is this calling me an idiot? How rude. Idi idiot. Um, hmm. Where's the next one gonna be? Where's the next one gonna be? La 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 la. Well, okay, hold on. So I know something here as well, don't I? If that were empty, that would connect those two. There's no triangle that could go, oh, what did they just do? What was that? Oh, okay. There's no triangle that could go in here at all. Therefore, that's empty and that's empty. So they must be separated. And they must be separated like this. Okay. And so now this has to go that way. We've hit an edge. And so that must go that way. Cool. Now actually this one can't have a triangle in it. So that's forced to be empty. I don't know what that tells me something. One of these two is forced to be empty. Okay, actually that is interesting. If this one were empty, then what would we draw here to separate these two? There is nothing I could draw that would separate them. Well, there is, there's this triangle, but then we're making a, a square that's not a square. <laughs> so it's not that one. So that one's got something in it, so it has to be like this. Right? And then this has to go here. I think that's right. So I know that's empty. Also, this continues going like this. Ta da! Now these have to be separated like this. Oh, wrong color. And like this. Uh, this is gonna need a triangle, so like that. 
I believe is the only option. Yep. So this has to go this way, all the way up to here, and then it's going to have to end. Neat. This is coming together quite quickly. Uh, that tells me this shape as well, so that goes like that. Although I still don't know how far it goes along there. Yeah. Or do I? I'm not sure. This needs a triangle in it, and so it has to be that way now. And so this is hitting the edge, so it has to go off that way. Which is hitting the edge, so it has to go off the other way. So the X is empty in the corner. But if the X is empty, then there's still two ways this could go. We could go down this way and form a rectangle here, or we could go that way. Okay, but I think this three will affect things, right? If this were, if this ended now, this three would have to be that way around, which would mean that would have to end there, which is actually totally fine. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Wait, actually now, if this were this way, this would now have to go there and then there and then there. Okay, it still fits. I thought maybe that would go off the edge of the puzzle. Hmm. I mean, that would take it off the edge of the puzzle, right? Oh no, not if it was here. That's totally fine. Yeah, still a few ways that could go. Can I tell anything about this three now? There's two options, right? That that ends there. Or we continue it, this. Wait, I know that's not connected to that, so I know this has to end here, right? Okay. And that can't continue, otherwise this black box will intersect with this, so I have to go like this. So that's empty. F may also be empty. Yeah, okay. Yeah. In fact, if F is going to be empty, right, there's no triangle I could put in there that would make a nice white square, so F is going to be empty as well, which means this needs to be broken off here. Exactly like this. Yep. There is one other orientation that triangle go, could go to put a wall in there, but it would make a, a white square that doesn't work. So this keeps going. This keeps going. Does it stop now? This still needs a triangle, so it has to go that way. Yes, it has to stop there. Because otherwise these two, I've got a rectangle here and a rectangle here, and they're gonna, they're gonna hit. And we can't do that because we need them to be separate rectangles. So we need to end like this. Okay, cool.
doing pretty well.